Hi there, I'm Dave Berry and this is my T90 number 1948. Um, it has a, uh, a very old African mahogany top on the mahogany back. The back of the body and the neck came uh, from some close-out stock from a major Asian factory that had a downturn in the last few years, global economic crisis and all that. So I selected a bunch of stuff. Um, I had this 80 year old piece of African mahogany which I've cut and book matched and fitted. Nice tortoise shell binding. Very, very attractive. It's a, a dark organic German wood oil. Dries harder than polyurethane um, over the whole guitar, neck included. Um, we've got a Joe Barden Telecaster bridge with the little Danny Gatton cutout. A uh, Bill Lawrence L298S stacked humbucking pickup in the back. Um, still retains all the Telecaster character but has quite a lot of drive so it's a guitar that um, is uh, definitely more versatile than your average Tele. The L610 pickup in the front is definitely very P90 like but has a slightly more open sparkly top end which can be taken advantage of as we'll see. Um, a fairly sophisticated passive electrics taken um, from my Model 1 bamboo bodied semi-acoustic guitar. Um, advanced treble bleed network on the volume a Q filter which enables you to tune the sound of the guitar from an almost acoustic sparkle to you know, getting towards face melt and a five-way selector again uh, something that's a, a little bit unique um, uh, things that have been ignored by the guitar industry for years not sure why and it sounds like this <laughs> on about two-thirds because it's a hot pickup you'd normally run it at about two-thirds um, unless you're really wanting to uh, to go for it the Q filter is the unique thing if I run the guitar on full sparkle which is full down um, we get an almost acoustic <laughs> sounds. This guitar sounds like a whole pile of different guitars and they're all quite good. Um, running the key filter back at about one third, which is around about the default setting, we've got both pickups. <laughs> Two positions, position four puts the pickups half out of phase with the use, use of a special filter capacitor, so you get a sort of a, a light, bright, funky tone. <laughs> simple guitar but with an astonishing palette of sounds. Um, if you're used to turning a guitar up to 10 and going for it, this guitar is not for you. Um, but if you're a dedicated tone hound and you're into um, exploring things, you're uh, interested in uh, looking into the interactivity of the controls, it's a truly remarkable multi-purpose guitar. The neck, um, quite nice and fat um, and uh, just a gorgeous guitar from every point of view. Um, a telecaster to, uh, to beat them all, I think. Thank you for watching.